31 days of horror films without a zombie movie on the list, would it? So I chose Dawn of the Dead, the 2004 Zack Snyder remake, for the simple fact that it's a scary ass zombie movie. It's the first movie that made me scared of zombies, alright? These wasn't your normal ass zombies. It wasn't these lame ass, funny ass zombie land zombies. It wasn't them boring ass I am legend zombies who only come out at nighttime. I don't know what type of vampire shit that had going there. But these them Usain Bolt zombies that's gonna run at you daylight from dusk to dawn. They gonna chase your ass down. They gonna hawk you down. And they were fast. They were abnormally fast, all right? Even the fat zombies. They had, it was, I remember there was this scene. It was this fat woman zombie that they dumb asses brought into their little safe haven thinking that she was okay. Why would you even trust this lady, all right? Because she's fat? No, she she was hawking them down. I don't think she got anybody killed, but she hawked them down. The point, point is, these not normal zombies, all right? And it all happened. It all, start, it all popped off because of what? A bar fight, uh, I guess somebody was getting their ass beat, so they decided to bite the dude, and he had an infection. He caught the infection, and that's how the infection spread. Reminds you of something? Somebody eating bats somewhere over there, and it somehow got over I don't know. But I don't care who you are. I don't care where you are in the world. I don't care what time it is right now you see this video. If you're a human being, you got you a damn zombie apocalypse attack plan or something like that. You got you a uh, end of the world zombie apocalypse squad. You got you a plan if the zombie apocalypse ever to happen for real, all right? I'm gonna let you, I'm gonna let you in on a secret, all right? You better be able to run, because I'm gonna leave. You with me, you better be able to run, because I'm gonna leave your ass behind, all right? It only takes one. It only takes one to fall behind, and then they gonna swarm around, and I'm gonna your slow ass. Don't, don't give me that chance. Don't be that person, all right? If you're in my squad, you got to be able to get away, all right? What was the, what was the guy in uh, uh, Zombieland's rule cardio? You better be up on your cardio, all right? Because these were the normal zombies, all right? And these are the type of zombies that I would not want to deal with. If, if anything, I would want to deal with the plant versus zombie zombies, okay? Because they move slow, they dumb, they easy to trick. I don't want no fast running ass zombie with an appetite. All right, and I guess getting eaten alive is one of the worst ways to go because every movie that you see, if somebody getting eaten alive, like they just, it's nonstop screaming. And between these zombie movies and playing Dead by Daylight and Days Gone, you can kind of tell like getting eaten alive is not a, not a pleasant way to go, all right? This movie was very memorable. I'm not even gonna mention the music because the mention wasn't even scary. It had a lot more to do with just the fact that these zombies was fucking fast, man. I remember this scene where her she woke up, like she woke up out of her sleep and her husband got bit. This dude came out the house, she was in the car, she drove off, he he like he was chasing that car. Like if he didn't see somebody else, he would have still been running for that car, man. And he was up on it too. He was doing at least six. He was on that car's bumper, literally. You hear me? And then it was this scene where like this lady had a baby during the apocalypse and the fucking baby was a zombie and they had to shoot the zombie baby in the head. And I was like, what type of twisted Zack? What type of Zack? Why did you throw that zombie baby in there, man? That was so messed up, man. But it was like it was just a different take. Another thing that I like about the movie, nobody survived. No fucking hijinks came out of nowhere. A plane came and saved everybody and saved them from this pandemic. No. They thought they got away. I was so proud. I was like, yes, another black man, one down for the books. No, they got to this damn island where they thought that they was going to get away. And guess what? Island zombies came out of nowhere biting them, giving them hay fever. Hey, I'm your boy. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching this long. I do appreciate y'all. I really do. I love y'all. I don't know. I had 100 subscribers and now I only got 99. I don't know who the fuck I'm subscribing, but I do appreciate everybody that's paying attention and that's giving me input. Uh, continue to stay tuned. Tune in same time tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? And uh, you know what you can do? Stay. It's a fact that if you hit the like button and share, it makes you a better person. Don't forget to hit that bell. Thanks for watching.